And we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to put a word on a corner in Adobe Photoshop. At first we need some text. Let me create it on a white background. The font doesn't really matter. But I want to play around with the size and the distance between the lines. So let me do that with the properties menu. As you can see, I have it aligned to center. And it should be fine. Something like this. Let me give text and corner a different color. So I use the type tool for that once more. And I use my basic swatches. So there's the color that I'm using if you want to use the same. When you've got what you want, just hold Ctrl and click on the T on your layer of the text. Press Ctrl C to copy it and press Ctrl D to deselect it. Open a new layer, make your text layer invisible. Let me rename the new layer to Vanishing Point as this is what I'm going to use. Under Filter, the Vanishing Point menu will open. When you can see a grid, just select it, press the Delete key to get rid of it. We want to create a new one. Then you create a new grid by simply left clicking to create this rectangle. And then you use the edit tool and you can drag the corners or so the anchor points of this rectangle to create different perspectives. Make sure that it's blue, otherwise it won't work. All right, so that's the first half. When you want to add the second one, use the create panel tool again, go to the center and then drag it. And again, you can use the edit tool to play around with the anchor points. And once more, you want to have it set to blue, otherwise it won't work. Then press Ctrl V to paste it. So this is the text that we've copied. So this one is a little bit small. So when I now use the transform tool, you can see that it transforms the text a little bit too much. So I'll have to edit that once more, but let me show you what happens if I press OK after I've dragged it into perspective. You can see it doesn't look good it's because it was too small. So the initial size of the text matters. Keep that in mind when you work on your own project. I'll size that up. And then I repeat the process and create a new effect with the vanishing point too. So again, hold Ctrl, click on the T on your layer, press Ctrl C, make sure it's invisible, open a new layer, go to filter vanishing point. Good news is we've got the grid already done, so I only have to press Ctrl V to paste the new text. I use the transform tool and size it down a little bit. And then I'll find a position that I like. Maybe something like this. Press OK. And you can see it's already in perspective. You don't need the layer, the text layer below anymore. So just keep that invisible. And now we want to add some shadow effects to it. But first let me center that. So I press Ctrl A and use the top menu to align it properly. And I'll make the background a different color. Something that fits your text, whatever that might be. I like this one. Now open a new layer, use the marquee tool and drag it to the position where you've got the corner. So you can zoom in a little bit to check it, but that should be a good position. Afterwards use the brush tool, you can press B for that. Make sure that your brush has a hardness of zero, so you want to have a very soft brush. We want to have black as a foreground color and the size should be relatively big depending on your canvas. For me it's 500, that's a good value here. And then I go top to bottom and then I go down with the opacity of the layer. I want to create a highlight as well, so new layer. 
Then I go to select and inverse the selection. So now the left hand side is selected. I swap the colors to white. And then I repeat the process with the brush on the new layer. And again, I go down with the opacity. And it should be fine. I'll press Ctrl D to deselect it. And you can see what we've got here. If you want to move it around, make sure you've got all the layers selected. You can hold Shift and then click on them. And then you can move it around or press Ctrl T and resize it. And this is how you can create this text on a corner effect in Adobe Photoshop. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.